Okay, everybody, welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. Hope you're having a great day today. We uh, we just wrapped up. Let's actually bring Mishka home now. Uh, we just wrapped up this fight down here. So let's just go ahead and say, hey, yeah, we won the battle. Uh, there's some science down here, too. We could maybe set up an outpost here if I wanted to. Yes. For the time being, since we have some people that have resources and everybody's wounded, uh, I'm just going to make sure that everybody's headed back to the colony here real quick. Let's just click you, get you back. And uh -huh. you get you back. Going. And then we want uh, what you need. Yeah, you. Here you My go. Pleasure. Wallaby. All right. So have everybody just head back to camp for now. Get themselves healed up. Today, what I would like to do is get started on making things just a little bit more efficient. And then also get started on just kind of ramping up production and the things that we're really lacking. For now, we're lacking water, and this little well here is not actually going to change that very much. I mean, it's, it's going to do a lot, but it's not going to do enough. Um, these two wells are also pretty close together, but they're both 100%. So we're going to add one more well, and then I think after this point, we're going to stop adding these basic wells um, because uh, we can probably get better... I'm hoping we can get better means or better water means in the future. Speaking of better means i guess on things this advanced scrapper has two people and we're a little bit light on metals uh, because we're making our own tools now which is nice um i'm gonna take three people on scrap but i'm actually gonna move to have a new one placed over here because there is a lot of piles here there's this one there's this one and then there's these two there's a lot of metals around here, and I think having an advanced scrapper right over here would be a great idea to getting a lot more resources for this. So I'm going to place one right here, and we're also going to have a road put in right along this, and it come all the way down and meet up with this road right here. All right, so that road brings people out this way, which is going to be nice. Um, and then I think also, because we have extra scrap to get out here, I might also just have a quick path that takes people this direction too. Just like, you know, just this direction for the time being. Let's go ahead and have one person in that guard tower. I don't think we need to double that up. There's also another tower somewhere that I thought there was over in this area. Yeah, here. Just want to make sure there's only one there. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so the well's done. We're still down six water. I could upgrade existing wells, but we've kind of talked about that a little bit, and I just don't feel like... Like, this is 16 water compared to 12, and it's a lot of resources compared to just building a new well. I think, for what it is, it's not worth doing this upgrade. If this water production was a little bit more strong, like... Mm -hmm, like, maybe it was plus 6 water? Maybe? But it's still, while you have tons of land available to you, and it doesn't seem like people have to, like, you know, manually go to the well and move it, this seems to be one of the only resources in the game where it's just sort of connected. Uh, and in that, for that reason, I think just building an extra well somewhere is just a better call than upgrading existing ones. Uh, so we're going to be heading up and doing that, too. A group of colonists are pulling a big pile of fur, paws, and teeth behind them. Wow. <gasps> It's a living bear. Uh-huh. It's a living bear. We found Benny here lying unconscious in the forest, probably drugged by some hunter's bait. We could try and tame him and make him our own bear. Our own war bear, they say. There's almost a child like Glee in the Colonel's eyes. Yeah, there's no way in the world. Um, this thing's going to attack us. We're going to kill it. Cool. So the rest of the colonists consider it uh, simply foolish to entertain such a dangerous idea. Instead, they proceed to kill the bear and use it for food. The group that brought it in seems upset, but despite their quivering lips, they don't dare go against the rest of the colony. No, I think it's a way safer idea. Um, we've had this... I had this random event in the last uh, playthrough as well. And trying to see how it goes, it results in basically an instant fight. Uh, I'm not interested in that right now. So um, 24 meat. We'll take the temporary happiness debuff and uh, do away with it there. That's fine. Uh, okay, so we're also out of wood, as you can see. Uh, the sawmill is operating, but not necessarily very well. I think we're going to get another person here and, yeah, still continue to take down as many of these trees as we can. We've made it needs to happen. Um, okay, so this is the maintenance depot. Leave, leave that alone. I want... 
concrete scavenger. Do we need more? No. So I think we're going to put a production limit on concrete. And I can type in here, right? Yeah. Let's just go uh, with 400 on that. So if it's over 400, nobody will be here. And uh, they'll just basically be a carrier for the time being. Or they'll work something else. Because I don't think we need any more concrete for the time being. Um, however, if we are going to be in this area working on these piles and things, it's probably a good idea to get rid of the pollution in this particular area. Um, I still think this pollution pile is utmost importance in the long run because this plastic is likely to yield something good underground. But this is awesome. There's nearly 10,000 concrete here at a 99% richness. So we're absolutely going to be, you know, getting that supply later on. Uh, so we want that. We want this to go away. Uh, speaking of like going away, a water is still going away. So I think for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and butcher three of our pigs. And this is going to reduce the water that's being used by this ranch. And I think that will equalize us just for a little while until that well can be built, which is actually starting up right now. So I think that will, that will help us a lot. So this ranch is now going to use, I believe, six water. Yeah. So it's only negative two at the moment. That's good. And uh, as soon as this well is built, then we can just let the pigs be at that point. They can do whatever they want. All right, so this scrapper, it needs to get built. Uh, and then we're going to take advantage of all this stuff. And this is kind of guarded by the guard post too, which is eh, it's kind of cool, I guess. You know, they have their own little guard post out this way. Uh, and let's see. Now, we also have the ability to research... And I think I want to go down infrastructure because I want to get to, and it's a long ways down, I know, but I want to get to submerged plumbing so that we can start pumping water out of like the lakes and stuff. And this is going to get us like, this is like end game water supply, right? So I, want, I sort of want to just bypass deep drilling. We're not going to really work with the bore wells necessarily and just go right for this. I know that's a lot of research. But this is also a lot of supplies. To build these types of things is a lot of supplies. Uh, for the time being, I don't believe we need to, to to build the wind power. I think going wind power was just a means to get to powered heaters, which is usually a pretty good deal. This will help us save on wood. Speaking of which, we are really low on this. And uh, I think I need even more people in the logging camp to get more firewood. But that doesn't matter because we're also low on wood here. Mostly that's because we're building things, right? So if I stop building structures, here we go. Yep, people in here now. Uh, that's the concrete scavenger, sorry. Nope, this. If I stop building things, then I'll stop using the, the wood and I can start building up the supply again. But if we're gonna get ready for the next winter, like that is not enough, right? We need more for sure. Uh, this logging camp also, we can, yeah, I think that's what it is. We can't build up the supply very well because we have so many people making firewood at the moment. Let me, uh, all right, let me just go ahead and unstaff this logging camp, right? And we'll, we'll just have only these two working nearby because there's no point in having that many people on logging if I don't have any wood, right? So we'll just have that be a thing for now. And then uh, this scrapper is going to get upgraded to an advanced scrapper. And then we can fully staff this. And then we'll have a ton of metals. We're going to need a lot of metals for where we're going and what we're doing. So, yeah, we're going to need a lot. Um, we have these survivors at the gate. Kind of want to take a look. Just get ourselves on guard just in case. And let's go. A crowd of people has gathered at the gate. Their eyes pleading and cheeks hollow from malnourishment, they make their case. Our family has been through a lot. I know asking to take us in is too much, but please, at least take Grandpa. He's too old to keep traveling, and he needs a place to spend his last years and write his memoir. <laughs> the old man in question is obviously ill and needs medical attention. You know what? Let's take everybody. All right. The family seems absolutely baffled. They exchange looks, hardly believing their ears. Really? One of them finally asks, you, you'll you take us all in? Thank you so much. She seems choked up as she finally sees the end of what looks like years of living out there. The family is allowed to start their new life. Plus four colonists and 30 happiness. Mm-hmm. There you go. All the people that were upset at the bear, 
rejoice and be happy now. <laughs> so obviously we have some mutated people now, some infected people now, and a couple of people are homeless. Oh, good. Uh, we can do the improved tenement. This is going to make even more people homeless for the time being. Uh, but I feel like I want to start another neighborhood, man. Like, I, I feel like I'm going to keep going out this way, but I don't know. Also, there's a school here, and I, I need to get um, I need to get more because we have a lot of children. We currently have 22 children. We only have the ability to train or to teach seven of them. So, like, having even more schools is a good idea, too, but I have to have the supplies to do that. So, uh, let's... I might put in one more lumber yard. We got 24 carriers. We probably put them to work. Maybe put another lumber yard out this way. Have them start cutting down all this stuff. Yeah. Maybe like right here. Maybe. Hmm. Like, I'm trying to figure out where the best place for this is. What's your richness? 88 is pretty good. We probably will work that. I'll probably work that. Let's put you here. And then uh take this as make it a make it a paved road. I think it already is, yeah. Um bring you out this way then. And then I think going along that. Uh we don't have enough to upgrade this yet. Wow, the sawmill is expensive, isn't it? <laughs> Yikes. Uh forget that. <laughs> no. That's very expensive. I need to build another house. I have plenty of metal to do that now. And um, now I'm lacking in plastic. Go figure. Shanty. Need another house. Let's put you on the back side here. Yeah, back to back. Right there. There and there. And then we'll take the road next to this, right? Let's bring it like that. They bring you down to that road. There we go. Uh, now I'm placing a school on top of this because this de this underground deposit is really low grade, really low richness, and it's right into our neighborhood here. I don't want to have that pollution be a problem, so that's sort of why I'm uh, gonna put a school here instead. We're down 22 power at night. We're up 26 power during the day. And here we go. So this has no metal, apparently. We'll just expand this and have you do the local supplies that are around here. Let's put three people in there. And you know what? No, let's immediately upgrade this. Yeah, because you're just going to turn the same six junk. You see that? Six into 14, right? Just straight up more efficient in every single way. I'm going to upgrade that building right now. We don't have the plastic to do that, though. I should have looked at that. Uh, where is my... Where's the plastic people? <laughs> I forget where they are. Plastic people, guys. Where's the plastic people? You know, I think we have enough tools. But I also think we have enough metal, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the tools for the time being. Let's just pause this. Um, where is... My, where'd it go? This isn't the only one, is it? The recycler? Isn't there another one? I could have swore I had another recycler. I'm, am I just, am I just blind here? Hang on, is there a way to shuffle through these? There doesn't seem to be a way to like cycle through buildings. Like there is in like end zone, for example. Unless I'm just blind about it. That would be a really nice feature to add, wouldn't it? All right, I've noticed that we have a lot of people mutated and infected and radiated and all that stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm, I've got all the hospitals now full uh, so that we have full capacity for healing because that's just weird. Uh, there was like 14 of these guys mutated or something like that, so. Hopefully we can get that cleaned up. I've also gone ahead and just temporarily paused the environmental station because I feel like that might have been the people who are mostly mutated were people who are around the pollution a lot. So we're going to get get rid of that. I also want to open up a trade really quick and see if we can't get wood from uh, Dead Creek here. So we're going to trade and I want to get a, a lot of wood. I'm, I'm thinking like all of it if I can. 
And I'm going to trade them. They really want antibiotics. I kind of need those. I was hoping you'd want something else. Uh, pollution. They're not paying me very much for that. So I, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get as much as I want. Um, but at the moment, we have enough just straight up currency to, to get all that wood. And that's a that's a big chunk. That's going to be so, so helpful. Um, and I'm kind of thinking like that. Yes, like I, I want to just spend my money and get and get that. Um, so, oh, sorry, I'm misreading this entirely. I yeah, I'm misreading that entirely. We, we don't have enough for this. So uh, what I could do is maybe give them some fish. Like, uh, I know this is, you know, food is important, but not as important as wood at the moment. I think also some concrete. That's only one each. No, thanks. Carrots, three each. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and give them, like, maybe this many. That's going to get me, actually, a return. Nice. So I'm going to give them some food. And in exchange for all of their wood, I want all of it. So in a day, yes, in a day, we're going to have... 300 plus wood, very nice. And then I want to sell my pollution for in exchange for stuff. I think Sageford was the ones that were taking it before. They say the trade is unavailable though. Okay. Uh, what about? What about? I haven't even talked to Mall Town yet. Oh wait, it's unavailable because I don't have two people in here. Yeah. Get a second person in here, and now I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Do they still want pollution? They do. I don't know why. They just do. So we can sell the pollution. Excuse me. We can sell the pollution to them in exchange for science points. So it looks like it's probably going to be... Uh, well, it could be something like this. It could be more than that, actually. I'm not reading it correctly. Yeah. I mean, that's that's fine. Um, we can just get a few more, I guess. Whatever. 53. I'm terrible at math. Just ignore me. <laughs> 53. So, like, 19 more, right? So, we go something like... I don't know. This is close enough. No, I'm terrible at math, I told you. Let's pull this back. It's fine. It's fine. Go. Confirm. Don't do math on the air, right? In the middle of a video. Don't do it. Just just don't. You. It won't, it won't be good. We had uh, somebody die from infection. It's pretty unfortunate. I have my, my medical facilities are maxed out right now. There's like some sort of really bad mutation thing spreading around the colony right now. It's it kind of sucks. This guy's about to die too, and he's just wandering around. He's not going into the medical tents. So they don't they don't seem to prioritize people who need it most. It seems like it's a first come, first serve deal. So he's just gonna die now. We just don't have enough medical capacity, so. That's going to reduce his life to nothing, and he'll die. Yeah. Sorry, Jack. Uh, we do have this, right? We're, we're taking care of this. There's five. There's ten slots left. Um, so the burial pit, right? We have somebody that's going out, getting all the dead bodies, and bringing them to bury them. This storage is almost full. I probably need another one. Let's just double check this. It's 40%. I'm going to see about getting... I guess one thing I need to know is, do these things haul the same stuff? This warehouse, it stores a bunch of stuff. It's all the same stuff as this though, right? The like general storage is it's kind of the same thing. So I shouldn't be really concerned about you being full. Because, well, this is 87%. Maybe I should be? What are you storing so much of right now? I mean, there's a lot of components. Yeah. Superior tools. Very cool. 24 automatic rifles. We should look to sell those, man. Because we do not need 24 of those. Yikes! Really? How do we stop these meteors? By progressing the main story, Charlie, of course. Speaking of which, how about we how about we look to do that? So how far away is it? Yeah, basically everybody is at home right now. Not everybody's full health, but pretty much everybody's at home. Main story is over here. Beyond Tomorrow is over here. To get there, we're going to need to go through at least this region. So we need to take out these bandits. And they have a lot, actually. 120 health per bandit. There's only eight of them this time. They do seven damage per. Okay, so they don't hit quite as hard as before, but they have a lot more health. Ah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I think they're 
probably yes. pretty difficult to kill. Um, let's get you in here. And then we have a... What are you? What? Oh, that's the trade. I've never noticed that before. We can actually see the vehicle's progress on the map. Oh, cool. They're kind of facing the wrong way. Right? They're kind of going backwards. Both of them are. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, they're going the right... They're, they're, they're coming here anyway, so... This is already on repair, uh, I think. Yeah, I think probably the next step is to find Ready. people like Darius. Not full health uh -huh. yet. Wallaby can go. Yes. Uh, you're close, but What's not up? there yet. You have good scavenging. You can go. Your command. And yes. Hakeem. Uh, you know, I might make Hakeem. Injury? All right, it's all these mutations. Like, I don't know where they came from, but they, they completely saturated. Like, they, they completely bogged down my entire medical facility. You know? All my medical facilities. I need that hospital, you know? It's in this one all the way to weapon crafting. Medical center is unlocked. I just have to build it. And in order to build it, I need supplies. So, and I'm pretty sure the medical facility has medical center uh, is it a field hospital several count us faster than yeah field hospital and it takes power 10 power all right so we could i think get rid of these two tents and replace it with one big field hospital it does it has six patient slots to where the two of these have four combined yeah, so I think once our medical issues are completely done, I'm going to tear this down and put the field hospital right here. And then that will put it in range of power as well. My goodness. Yes. Inuk, you're good. Send it to the world Ready. map. Mishka, you don't do... Yeah, you do. 20 damage. I like it. Go. And so. Pinkman, are you good? No. You got to stay back just All a little right. bit more. You're good. You can go too. All right, so we're sending everybody that we can... Everybody that makes sense anyway, we're going to send them to the world map. Here we go. So only two colonists mutated now. And there's no patients in here. So let's go ahead and demolish this one. And there's only one patient in here now. And we're going to go ahead and as soon as they treat this guy, 65%. Let's go ahead and go to the map really quick. So I want you guys to all head towards the main quest. You're all going to head this direction. Sounds good. So right here, Ready. you are going this direction too. Right away. Yep, and we're just going to have help. this be this right. is the future right now. How may I help? All of you go all right. like that. Yep. One more. What's up? One more. Right like that. All right. Okay. Nope, two more. Wow. Shoot. Hi. I have a lot of these guys, don't I? Can do. All right, so everybody is now heading this way. They're all going to team up, kill these guys, and then they can then enter this zone after we scout it to get the main quest continuing. Um, I believe after the main quest is done, the only disasters that you have to worry about in this game are winter um, at that point. You don't have to worry about the meteors and all that stuff anymore, which is you know, kind of a big concern at the moment. Because it keeps hitting things. This guy's taking a long time to treat, by the way. I just want to say. I don't know what's wrong with this guy, but it's taking forever to treat this guy. One occupant. 99 idle. Good. Demolish. And then what we're going to do is we're going to replace this with a field hospital. It's going to be right on the road here. Or one road. Uh, one road. That. Yeah, let's do that instead. One over, I mean. Uh, and that way I can have a road that goes between here. Okay. Field hospitals going in instead. It's going to be 45 components. We have the resources to build this entirely, I believe. Maybe we might be a little bit shy, shy on plastic. Just a little bit. We might be. Uh, the tool shed does not need to quit anymore. Plenty of metal. And actually, is this done now? It is indeed. Let's move this area and have you do this. Go. And let's staff that. There's three people on metal now. 
Um, maybe two people on metal. And then the, the third person there can go on plastics instead, which we're out. Yep. Okay, so move this work area to... I think we're good on plastic now. Shouldn't we just move the... We should probably move this entire building so that it's closer to the other supplies. Did we really gather all of that plastic? Wow. Hmm. Do I, do I want to have the recycler moved? If I move it here, it will be closer to... Well, it'll just be generally closer to everything, but it'll be closer to that pile, that pile, and this pile. Yeah, I think so. And then we can get an advanced recycler if we need to. But let's tear this down. Uh, wait, to build another one... Gotta make sure we have enough resources to build another one. It's just wood. Okay, so we're gonna put this recycler, I think, right here. Put it right there. Or one over. Maybe one over instead. If it lets me do that. Here? Yeah, here instead. That way this road could... Like, I could maybe surround this with something else. Like, I can... I can make this road go straight, right? And then we can put... Either take this road out entirely, because it won't be needed anymore, which is probably what I should do. Yeah, this road isn't needed anymore. Just remove it. And then uh, this will get built. Let's build this next. And once that's built, there we can then tear this down. We can tear this down. We've made a new we can tear it down anyway. We have the wood. So let's just let's just kill this. I should get uh, a little bit of wood back for that. And then we can build that for sure. And then I could upgrade this to an advanced recycler, provided, of course, that I have the plastic to do so, right? 20 plastic to do so. To do so. so why don't we start with this pile, since it's really close. And then the survivors of the gate. Do we lack this? Yeah, it's one plastic. Okay, build the field hospital next. One plastic. Fair enough. I think um, we'll go ahead and make these two inactive, and this will be the primary medical facility now. A ragged bunch shuffle slowly towards the gate. I think I'm okay with this. Um, I'm gonna ignore for now, just temporarily, and make sure that we're fully staffed up. Yep, we're we're good to go here in case anybody yep. attacks us. Uh -huh. Let's get Hakeem and help? Pinkman to come on up here. Man. Aramis, get all you guys up here just in case they attack us. And uh, let's go ahead and accept them. Fun. We're going to let them in. We got three people homeless at the moment. Okay, it looks like we're fine. Three people homeless. And I just built these two homes, too. Wow. We really need more homes, huh? Yikes. Uh, don't tell me. Okay, radiators are done. Yeah, heat buildings up during winter storms. An advanced energy-based heater designed to support a large colony generates and distributes heat in a large area to protect it from freezing. Is it how big is an area? It's uh, it's a little bit bigger than the regular burners, but it seems like it's actually smaller than it's smaller than these these boosted burners. The advantage of this, though, is that it uh, only uses electricity. So we could say, for example, have a dedicated and very, like a, we have a very stable source of energy right here to keep all of this stuff warm. Uh, I was kind of hope, hoping to put this down. Yeah, well, okay. I think we'll, we'll take and put this here. We have the metal, the component, like we have all the parts and stuff for this, so. We'll put this here. That will negate the need for this to even exist, I think. So we can also tear that down. But this will consume... This is like a, a process to start consuming more power, more energy, right? And uh, we're going to consume more energy and less wood. So uh, we're going to now want, I think, to look into wind turbines. We have the supplies to build these two. So we'll look into wind turbines now. And I'm going to put this right behind the solar for the time being. 
and I might put another one back over in this area. I think this is an okay spot for it, like right here. Yeah, right here. Uh, I might want actually to wait and have one of those transformers be here instead. Yeah, like right here. We put the transformer here next to this house. Yeah, I think so, right here. Build the transformer there. And then we'll also build a wind turbine right here. And then this will be in range of that one later. So wind turbine there too. So there's a lot of advanced stuff going in now. But that's going to move us forward, you know? That's that's going to be great because we're going to start using less uh, on the wood. And then it uh, looks like this stuff all needs repaired. Yikes. I think another maintenance facility maybe. Uh, also, I think it's probably time to start taking care of a little bit of these fields. Like, we can probably remove these four fields and turn it into, like, maybe two mediums. Or one large one, I suppose. I don't know where to put it, but possibly here. Is this fertile? Not really. I could irrigate it, but we already have a water issue. But that'd be something to look into, too, is starting to break down some of these fields. And shift them to larger ones if we have the room to do so. This building's damaged as well. That sucks. Uh, okay. So this is done. Now we just need to move our work area to a place that makes more sense. Which is all of this. Just start tearing it down, man. Get her done. Why? Oh, we're at 500. Okay, you know what, though? We need a lot more wood. Because I'm building stuff. I'm going to go to 700 on the uh, production limit. Why is it that every time I build an extra building, we all of a sudden end up, you know... Like, with a lot more of that stuff. Like, all of a sudden, this building is redundant. We don't need it anymore. Yuck. Just yuck. No free workers. I got 24. 24 carriers. There's no free workers. Four colonists are homeless. Looks like I can build this next. I'll just turn it back on. I don't want to build next, but I'm going to turn it back on. Let's get people back into the environmental station. So they can continue to reduce this pollution here. I, I want this to be taken care of. I need this to get out of here. And uh, now that we have the medical facility up. Oh, you need access to water. Of course you do. You know, I'd like to have the bigger water towers. How much research is that? Bigger barrels? Yeah. 350. We're almost there. We are almost there. But we're not there yet. So water tower back here. And then we'll start using our surplus in water to hopefully provide necessary means for this. But this... This is nice, though. I mean, once we get enough people working in here, the, the patient load, right? They're able to do it a lot faster. Not connected to water network. I don't know. the No free workers. There's 21 carriers. That's odd that there's not enough workers. All right. You guys are all ready to rock. So I Your think um, we'll go ahead and say attack. Attacking target. Reporting attack. In. You're not attacking? Oh, you can't attack yet. Weird. All right. Well, we'll um, we'll wait one turn, I guess. Shoot. And then we'll attack them. Can do. What's up? That's interesting. All right. You're yeah, we'll wait one turn, I guess, and then we'll attack them. Mm hmm. Yep. Should we get another one of these guys? Fighter would be nice. The the problem with they all want gold. I don't have currency. Yeah, I don't have currency. Do I have to wait? Another four days now. Next time you click this button, make sure you have currency, dummy. <laughs> um, School's being built. That's really nice. And Burning Skies is available now. That sounds healthy. During the first years after the initial incident, airplanes often turned into flying coffins. As electromagnetic pulses and magnetic storms fried their in-flight computers with little warning. It's still possible to 
find plane wrecks turned grave sites for their unfortunate passengers. A specialist has spotted one such site, undisturbed and ready for looting not far from here. Let's go. Let's go. Where is it? It's over right there. Sick. Look at that. Nice. Uh, we're going to take uh, Aramis. Your movement is awesome. We're going to take Aramis. Your command. Tell him to go to the world map. And then yes. he can go that way and Found get something. that later. I hear rats. So the other reason why having many small fields is good is the rats usually only infect one field and they'll eat up all your stuff and your yield is just destroyed. And so now they only take a quarter of the yield in this area as opposed to taking all of it if it was a larger field. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, like those rats are not that common. I think that's maybe the third time that's happened in 70 days. So it's, it's not that common. It should be fine. To transition them, you know? Now it says we don't have any workers. I don't get it. Yeah, get them in here. Alright, we should be able now to free up. Well, yeah, good. We should be able to free up this building now. So we'll just have no workers in here. These two. And then this will be the, the sole medical facility for the time being. Anybody that needs should go here. And then now we have a wind turbine. Plus 14. That's great. We should have a second wind turbine here. Yep. Another plus 14. So we're really good on power now. And the fact that we're only down four during the night is huge because we're going to be way up during the day then. Um, okay. We still need more housing. I think it's probably time to upgrade the tenement. We don't quite have enough plastic, but we're getting very close. So I'm going to go ahead and take and prompt that for upgrade. The upgraded tenement will provide a lot of housing a little bit more comfortably. And then what I'm going to do also is just put a second one here. Whoops, I hit the T button instead of the R button. Uh, we're going to put a second one right here, I think. And that will provide even more housing. But this is going to be next. So the upgraded tenement takes the housing for six. I believe it turns it into housing for, no, sorry, housing for eight and turns it into housing for ten. So it's going to house just the two extra people. Um, and then also all of the improved homes, the improved shanties and stuff, they will see, or they'll hold an extra person as well. We don't have the plastic for that right now, but uh, I'm thinking with this recycler, going an improved recycler makes sense as long as we have plastic. So I think that's what we'll end up doing. Let's go ahead and pause this construction really quick. See if we can save up plastic. And then I'm going to use the plastic we save up to turn this into an advanced recycler. And almost 20 plastic. I need 20 plastic. Bring me more plastic. Stop. Let's upgrade. And then build next. So now they should bring all the plastic there first, hopefully. And that will help us gather plastic even faster because there's a lot of plastic in that area. And yeah, I can also put more people working it too. I did a pretty good job keeping up with wood. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that too. Okay, that's all delivered. Let's turn this back on. And specialist ready for action. You, yes. go get this. What do we have here? What do you got? The plane looks like an older model airliner. Its fuselage snapped in half. We've seen this uh, description of stuff before. If we show respect, then everybody gets a happiness boost. But do we need the happiness boost? We get more stuff if we don't show respect. I think it was a 20 happiness boost before. We have a little bit of happiness to spare, you know? Restless. We don't have entertainment to spare. Wow. We need to do a lot on entertainment, don't we? Let's um, say the dead don't care. So negative 10 happiness is not that big of a deal, but getting all this extra stuff is great. It's time to start digging through the site and bagging everything that we're taking. These people are long dead. They don't care. The hall will help us. The hall will help the ones still living. However, when the colonists find out about this disrespectful conduct, they're visibly upset. Quest complete. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Okay. Right. You attack. Engaging host, huh? Attack. Locked and loaded. Attack. Showtime. Yes. Uh, those with the highest yes. attack skills. 
highest attack stats. 20 damage. Good. Get in there. Uh, Wallaby, 9. And you are 9. Both of you are. Okay, good. Get in there and get in there. Everybody attack them. You're toast. 23, 23 hours and you're toast. Everybody's. We're just going to take this down and siege them. And then we're going to move over into this area. Yep. Pinkman is healed up and ready to go too. I kind of feel, honestly, I kind of feel like leaving at least two specialists here at home, you know, in case something happens. And like also spreading them out too, just in case. Although I think they end up wandering if you uh, leave them alone. But yeah, I do actually feel like just leaving them, uh, making sure that they stay here. I'm really hoping that this is a high percentage, you know, like, I'm, I'm really hoping that this is, uh, what's it called? Richness. That is, really hoping it's high percentage richness. And then this can move over to here now. And honestly, I think we pull one person there. I am going to regret this, only going one at a time here, but... Yeah, logging camp at 111. Good. We don't need this much if we can add more of these heaters. So that's six power. If I can add another heater... Let's see. Radiator. Need to keep it close to things that matter. Like homes. Yep. We can actually stick the radiators in these little gaps for the homes. Oh, yeah. Right here. This will be good. Put it there. And then put another one, like, right in here. Right here. Yeah? Maybe right here. Right here. And then another one... To be over on this on this side, like here. And now I know that's a lot of power. And actually, for that one, we're gonna need the transformer. Yeah, to connect that. So I, I'm not entirely sure that one will work. Let's just pause that for now. These two should be fine. And once this one's in, I think I can remove that boiler, that burner. I might be able to just hit pause on it. Um, we'll see. Full storage, full storage, and 55, need more storage. Let's get, uh, it's not here actually, storage is here. Let's go with, cannot store food or construction resources. Uh, food items, items, and all other types of resources. So this one, this one is just better in every way. Is that what I'm seeing? Seems. Let's go like that. And then we might want to have another one like right here. Just as a way to get them to, to get things. I like the location of this because it's near the cookhouse and stuff. But yeah, an another storage is a good idea. At least one. But this should be built next. I need homes. So don't build this until you've got this built. Plus, we're going to use the resources we're storing in order to build this. And then specialist on the map, you, right. Aramis. Um, you know, you have the health, and you scavenge at a decent pace. It's 100%. You can get these iodine pills. Wow, 10 damage every 12 hours? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. And it takes you a long time to get these. So this thing is going to pip. It's going to this is gonna kill you. That would kill you. We can get some of them. Like, I can have you do this for a little bit and then come back? I could. Or, I could have you scout this over here. I think I'd rather you do that. Scout these two areas instead. Let's have you right go away. do that instead. I don't, uh, I don't really want you to die for iodine pills. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This advanced scrapper, let's just take that out. Um, the people who are scrapping, you can go and work in the actual scrapper up here instead. Yeah, three people up here instead. And then what we could have done, I guess, is if I really... Let me see. Is there any other spot this way? I don't see any flashing green lights. So, I mean, I could have you just go get this one, but it's a really far walk. I think I'd rather tear this building down. Oh, it's right there. Oh yeah, that's actually my, that's a lot better. There's plastic here too. Where is my plastic peeps? Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Advanced recycler. Okay, so now we want you 
we go get well this first there's 25 of it uh so get this first and then we're gonna send you this direction yep, yep three people in there please charlie is now an elder Shh, rub it in why don't you <laughs> uh, i make jokes about being old i mean i know i'm not i'm not old enough yet to actually be able to say i'm old you know i'm 34 in case anyone was wondering um but i'm not really old enough to call myself old you know oh components are gone yikes these are more expensive than i thought they were um here's an idea why don't we go ahead and cancel this one and then this one could be wait no no, star sorry, uh, abort the dem abort demolition. Cancel this one. Let's cancel this one. And then those components will then come over here. Yeah, build this next. I'm just gonna say here. You'll then bring the components over to this one, which can then be uh it can then be built. And then once that's built, then we can tear this down, I think. I don't know that. Um, I, I, it's pr it's very likely that it won't reach here, and then we'll need another one over here. But I just want to see what the the radius on this is. I'm pretty sure it's less. Let me go ahead and demolish the boosted burner, and then this will be built. Okay, so it looks to me. Like the radius of this, of the radiator, radius of the radiator, yeah. It, it, it looks to me like it's actually kind of the same, but it's, but more of it is red. So I'm gonna try this. Let's see what this does. I'm, I'm, I got terrible eyesight lately, it looks like. But if I was to go like this. Okay, no, the boosted burner is definitely a bigger radius. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's it was covering this before, yeah, dummy. I've had a long day. <laughs> okay, it's my old man brain. I was just saying this. I'm starting to regret having you here. But there's not really a better place for you per se. So this is not covered by any heater anymore. I would need to. I would need to move it. Yeah. So there's no yellow. I guess it's yellow, yellowish, white, whiteish circle zone around it now. Yeah, that's a little strange. I wonder if there's a way to boost that at all. Have the radiators be. Yeah, there's an upgrade button here. There is. What is it? Large radiators. That's that's kind of the trend right now. Is this? It's radi It's something and then large something. Ooh, medicine production would be cool. Uh, fortress. We need this soon, actually. Fortress gate. Cleansing, surge protector, medical center. Where did it go? Infrastructure? Advanced heaters. Industrial radiator. Okay. It's not large. It's industrial. Fine. Deep drilling. Uh, the bore well could be useful, actually. I think, I think bore wells are not that bad. Um... They take power and stuff, but I don't think they're that bad. Um, we have 500 research. What's our water at? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially if, if a heat wave comes right now, we're so screwed. I think deep drilling. Yeah, yeah. And then drill master, 50% energy consumption reduction would be a good thing to do too. So let's cue that as well because we actually have the science points to do both of those. Guys, this has been kind of a disorganized episode i feel like i have set out with a goal and i kind of accomplished it kind kind of accomplished it um i wanted to take care of all of our inadequacies <laughs> that's, that's a good way to word it i just wanted to take care of all of my inadequacies and uh you know i think we did okay right we've we're moving some buildings around and you know we've got some scrapping over here going with with metal lots of metal uh, we're providing homes for everybody. We have another tenement now. We could upgrade it if I get some plastic later. Maybe. We'll see. Um, 
I, I think storage is getting close to full, right? We're at 62 capacity, 62% capacity on the the one that's not full, right? So everything else is full. Um, so like we definitely should be building this, and then they're gonna get on it eventually. But we're energy wise, we're doing really solid. We're only at a four deficit at night now because of the wind turbines. That's awesome. We're completely out of components, pretty much. So we're gonna need to bring those back from the map. And it looks to me like we've already got this done. So let's take whoever has 200% scavenging, you. We won the battle. Have you, oh, this isn't white. Right, this isn't one of those other ones. Like this one right here, you would, you would start scavenging right away. Okay, so anyway, we got rid of these guys. And uh, this is a good place for, set up, for setting up science. This is a good place to get medicine. We also have another one of these guys. You have 220 science. Nice. Ready. Um, we could take these guys out right now. What's up? Huh? I think so. We should just take these Attack. guys out while we're here. Uh -huh. Attacking. Because we're, you know, because we're right Engaging here. Shoot. We'll just, we'll just Engaging annihilate hostile. these guys right now. Your orders. Locked and loaded. Yes. And then you have 200% scavenging. We'll have you go after the medicine for two days. Okay. There. That was an efficient way of doing that. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of you guys could then, once you're done with this, just go attack this. And you'll have Aramis's help while doing so. Moving. Isn't that convenient? Yeah. I think so. I'll have you Can't scout that when you're ready, too. So we're, we're getting there, right? Uh, we definitely want to start looking at upgrading the gate. It has not yet fallen, but that I feel like we only probably have one more raid until it does start falling. So we're going to want to deal with that as best as we can. Uh, we definitely have some work to do on expanding our electricity but that's what these little gaps with are for right like we didn't perfectly measure it we have these gaps and that's how we can add you know like little gaps like this it's not perfectly lining up well it's room to put a transformer in which is what we've got here uh and then it will be good to put a radiator in because i can replace this with another radiator uh later on if i want to when if we can expand our power grid and make it really stable then we could just have everything be electrically heated which ideally in the real world, that's not nearly as efficient. Electric heating is actually really inefficient, but um, you know, for a giant industrial radiator that's tuned for it, it, I guess probably it's better. It's certainly better than burning wood. I'll give you that. Pack of boars has been causing trouble for a while. All right, so they're circling around the colony looking for food. Colonists wonder if the issue should be addressed before it gets out of hand and someone gets injured. Now, I could attack the pack and get all the food, but that's also going to cause a fight and possibly people die. Certainly people will be wounded. Uh, I think I'm going to lure them away with food here. Colonists gather a delicious looking pile of food, which they spread around a path leading away from the colony. As the pack circles back again, they notice the food and begin following it deeper into the forest and search for more sustenance. Okay, so we can get rid of them. So we don't have to fight. I do have two of these guys back home, but it's okay. I have lots of food. Food is actually like the number one thing that I'm, it's probably filling up all the storage is the food, honestly. There's like a thousand venison here, right? I definitely need to start, yeah, cooking up the food a little faster. Yeah, for sure. That's the one thing we're doing really well on is food. Um, I suppose we're doing really well on, on, on wood and stuff now. Uh, so the next thing is going to be trying to get ourselves down to the more advanced manufacturing so we can start making our own components, making our own parts. That stuff is like, that's really late game stuff. And then the advanced recycler is hauling ass. Huh? Giving me stuff for the general storage. That's good. 69% capacity. So uh, we're almost there, right? And we could probably actually pull some people out of like the hunting right now we can probably pull back on this we have lots of venison yeah only two people in the hunting cabins is good and then um like i said before we're really good on on you know wooden stuff now let's move forestry over to here let's say and then this is all fertile land right whoops wrong button i think this is all fertile land well less so farms can go here a bigger farm can go here um, we could actually set up greenhouses and stuff right here too. 
This is 37%. Look at that plastic. 7777. Seven, I need to get like an old. I need to bring back casinos. You know? Let's get a casino in here as part of our entertainment. Speaking of which, Botanical Garden. Also something we can look at. It requires 30 fun boxes. We don't have that. So, yeah. Uh. Oh, good. <laughs> we haven't had that in a while. Yeah, or like ever. Great. All right. Awesome. The horizon starts turning from blue to toxic green and the air seems to burn your lungs. These are the first signs of an impending danger. Intense radiation is a collect is a constant threat to colonists, buildings and crops withering and dying during a nuclear fallout. New seeds cannot be planted before it is over. Severe cases of radiation sickness and thirst take their toll on everyone. I'm starting to think maybe the iodine pills would have been worth it now. Harvest crops in open fields before they winter. Stockpile iodine pills and treat radiation sickness quickly and build more medical facilities or assign more workers to existing ones. Okay, so the iodine pills that I was like, not sure if it's worth it, right? These beautiful iodine pills, 37 of them, we should probably get those now. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Aramis Watch. is going to go up here, see if there's any on that side. And then these guys will probably win this fight. And when they do, I forget what he has on him. I think it's science points. But we're getting medicine here. The med This medicine isn't going to help us, though. We need iodine pills. And I'm thinking if we have trade, can we get you to bring us iodine pills? Yeah, just bring us a bunch. They're very expensive. Good God. They're so expensive. How about 15 of them? And can I sell you venison? I got a lot of it. All right. I'm going to sell you like 400 of it. How's that sound? Yeah. All of your iodine pills. I want all of them. Just give it. Give me all of them. Yeah. And on, now it's only cost me 118 bucks. Nice. Uh, we're actually good on wood now. I'm going to sell a little bit of that. I might regret that. Let's sell like 100 of it. And right about here. It's fine. 101, and then uh, all the pollution. Let's give them all that too, why not? Anything else we can give them? Some wheat, electronics, junk, not really. Medicine, this is worth a lot actually. Can I give you like, I think like 40 medicine. Good, so now we're getting paid and getting the iodine pills. Maybe we should go after cattle? We could get milk, that's really good. Um, diversity in diet and all that, malnutrition. Getting dairy would be uh, the next step in that, but we would also be sucking down a lot of water at that point. I think we'll look at getting this later once we have a good steady supply for uh, for water. Oh, and then I obviously could have sold all the automatic rifles too. Let's just take them for all they have. Uh, they have $1,000, so we'll sell them... Uh, we'll sell them nine rifles. I swear to God, I'm terrible at math. Uh, we'll, we'll need to take something else from them, too. Let's take the firewood. We'll take all their firewood. Yeah. And then uh, we'll give them a few more automatic rifles. Hey, you know what? Sometimes a blind squirrel. <laughs> yeah, confirm. So that's going to give us everything we need, right? 31 iodine pills coming in. A lot of money coming in. So we can get another specialist. Uh, and that money sets us up later for the cattle as well. In exchange, we're just giving them a bunch of weapons. I like that trade a lot. Um, and then there's some sheep here we could maybe go after. Um, but I think mostly... Mostly I just like science points, right? Get science points from you guys and give them some hunting rifles in exchange. Like, like this many. Yeah, we'll just get paid a few few dollars we'll get some science points from this maybe some mixed meals right Nah, we can we we're fine on this i think actually yeah uh good we'll just confirm that one too that's three days away but we'll find it's whatever all right guys i think we're prepared for our first nuclear fallout are you are you prepared we're gonna need people in medical facilities let's go fully staffed ready to rock we're good. We have capacity for treating 10 people simultaneously. So we can take basically 9% of our colony at a time and treat them. That's pretty good. 
I think that's a good capacity to go with. General storage is getting built, so we're going to be able to expand that. We're up to 74% in that already. And now we have colonists gathering for an idea. Is it a feast? A small group of colonists have come up with an idea. Times are tough for everyone. Yeah. And they'd like to organize a harvest feast. I'm going to give you a moderate one. Up. Honestly, I've got so much venison. I'm going to give you a large one. Screw it. Yeah, 25 happiness. We're going to give you a ton of venison for this. And honestly, you're going to need that happiness because we're about to have a whole lot of disaster. Uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Nuclear fallout incoming at the start of the next video. I hope you're uh, ready for that. Take care. Bye-bye.